Hello. Hello. So we've done our first fruit and veg shop. Yeah. Two bags. Two bags. Full of goodness. Yeah. 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 And lots of cabbage soup. Yeah. You excited about it? Yeah. Do you think mummy's going to do well? Yeah. You rooting for me? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pineapple yeah. though. I could deal with a bit of pineapple. Soup into the fridge for war tomorrow. I've got a bit left over as well, so this is going to go in the freezer. Happy days. So it's the first day of the diet, and this morning I woke up <coughs> craving McDonald's sausage and eggs. Something and waking up. And then I all of a sudden realised. <clears throat> You're on the cabbage soup diet. So, I couldn't bear to have cabbage soup for breakfast after dreaming of... So, I'm going to make a fruit smoothie, seeing as I'm allowed to eat as much fruit as I want today. And... Seeing as, uh, yeah, seeing as I was, I'm allowed to have as much fruit as I want, I thought I'd make a smoothie for breakfast. Normally I'd have a creamy coffee with like two sugars. Uh, so I don't feel like eating right now. So I'm going to just drink my breakfast. Um... I had to do a purge last night, not like a purge, me doing a purge, but the house had to have a purge. I thought I'm not going to get through this week if I know that there's chocolate and crisps around, so that's all gone. I've palmed it off to my friends and I'm ready to be super healthy this week, so wish me luck. In my smoothie I've got an orange, pineapple. Cabbage, white cabbage, not that green stuff. A carrot, apple, and some spinach. Yeah, spinach. carrot, spinach, yeah. So I need to put some water in this. Then I had some unsweetened cranberry juice. What are you making? A smoothie. smoothie. Breakfast smoothie. Breakfast smoothie. You gonna have some? I really can't deal with um, that smoothie, to be honest. It tasted like pepper. It was disgusting. So I'm not going to drink that. I'm really hungry still. So cabbage soup it is. Oh. I am literally so hungry. I never thought I'd be so excited to warm up a bowl of cabbage soup. But here we are. And I'm looking forward to it. Is it soup? Mm-hmm. You want to try some? No. Why? I don't want to. No, do I? Mm. Tastes a bit better today, actually. <laughs> the flavours of Romanide. I'm really full of that. Who knew cabbage soup is uh, really filling. I won't be taking as much next time. I struggled to get through that. You didn't help me, did you? Didn't even have one bite. Boom! Yeah. <laughs> the spider. The spider. The spider. Yeah. <laughs> I had to liquidise the next portion. Um, I just feel like I'm just drinking something at the moment. I don't know if I can deal with the chunks right now. Um, I'm feeling really tired. And uh, yeah, God, day one, it's taken out of me. It really has. 
Who knew? Cabbage soup. Can feel it like shifting all the toxins in my whole body because uh, I'm like just knackered. Detox Central, here we go. So it's the end of day one and I'm feeling absolutely knackered. Uh, the cabbage soup has really taken it out of, not literally taken it out of me, but I am just drained of energy. Um, I've only had two cups of the soup today. I was going to go for a third, but I, I was quite full. Um, I had a bit of fruit, some pineapple, apples, bananas and bits and bobs and obviously the smoothie that I tried this morning didn't work out with the cabbage in it because it tasted like pepper. Um, I've got a picnic tomorrow so I'm not looking forward to that. I'm going to have to take like a flask with cabbage soup and we're in the height of summer. So we'll see how that goes but the kids will be running around and eating all this delicious food and I've got hot cabbage soup from a flask. So, we'll see how that goes. But, today I had, a I had to have a nap in the evening because I was just drained. So, hopefully that means it's working. So, happy days. Day two. Morning. Morning, morning. I'm actually doing it. Cabbage soup for mm. breakfast. Yum. Yeah, Mummy's steaming a bit of asparagus for our picnic. You want some? No. Fine. I've got my black coffee. No sugar, no milk, no nothing. This is disgusting. Black coffee, no milk, sugar. It's just bland, but I need it. I'm so tired. I've got to go and do a picnic, but before that, I'm going to go and meet my partner in crime. She's been on lunch, so she's eating loads of nice stuff that I've not got to eat. So, I was, it's a really nice day today, so I haven't gone back home yet, and I took some cabbage soup out with me for the picnic, but I've ended up at my friend's house with no food. So I've literally just raided her whole fridge, her whole cupboard, like she's got beans, can't have beans, can't have sweet corn, can't have peas. I would literally eat like a tin of peas right now just to fill this hunger, like I'm so hungry. I feel like I'm getting a bit faint, like keep standing up with the kids and then being like, whoa, head rush. Um, so yeah, look through all of her vegetable cupboard, we got found some avocados, I was like, don't forget I can have avocados. Broccoli was like, just couldn't eat the broccoli. So uh, I was like, what am I gonna eat? And then it dawned on me, light bulb, kebab shop, salad, cabbage, good, lettuce, good, cucumbers, good, jalapenos, good. So that's where I'm gonna go and get some food. So here it is in all its glory. Yum. I'm so looking forward to this. I've just put the kids I've just put the kids to bed and look I am absolutely like dripping with sweat. I don't know if my metabolism has changed or because it's just really hot and it's summer, but I am just sweating. I'm thinking maybe it's because of the cabbage. I don't know. But uh yeah. I'm boiling more than normal. So hopefully that's the metabolism kicking in and uh, yeah, making me burn some fat. Great. I have literally never been so excited to eat a plain potato with butter. I just can't wait. This is going to be great. I'm just, I just really appreciate the plainness of it, but I am going to really enjoy it. So cabbage soup diet is looking up. So it's day three and I've woken up and I feel like quite good. I'm happy about today. I can eat as much fruit as I like, as much veg as I like and as much cabbage soup as I like. I will try to have um, at least one cabbage soup um, but I am looking forward to just having the, the fruits and veg to be honest. No bananas, no potatoes but that's fine. So this morning I had like a big fruit smoothie with uh, pineapple, oranges, apples, um, carrots, spinach, 
um, I would have taken a picture, but I drank that already, so sorry about that. But it was good. I'm feeling good. Uh, got a black coffee on the go as well. It's not great, but um, yeah, today seems like it's going to be slightly easier, so I'm happy about that. Out and about today, trying to find that good lighting. Um, so I've made sure I've got food with me. I'm not having a rerun of yesterday, although today it is easier to find food. So I've got my smoothie from this morning, I've got some of that, and I've got my two portions of cabbage soup. Right, it's one o'clock, and I've finished my smoothie already. I finished all my soup, and I'm absolutely starving. So, Chris Jenner over here is taking me to get a salad. Hey, girls. Thanks, Marjorie. <laughs> I've uh, slipped up. I'm not gonna lie. I've I've just drank like half a can of beer. Sorry, Doctor Xander. Sorry, doctors. Um, it's like the peak of summer and you know we don't get summer very often in England so I'm sorry I'm not gonna do it again but um, yeah I had to have a beer the sun's playing England's playing the sun's playing England's playing what can I do I've eaten more cabbage this week than I think is right for society in general so I think I've done really well I'm still really proud of myself I'm gonna get back on the horse after this beer and be strict again and obviously tomorrow and stuff I'm not, I'm not gonna do it again but um cheers go on England Whee! I'm not even watching the game I'm literally sitting in my friend's back garden I could care less about the football but I wanted to still be in the spirit of it so yeah confessions uh, as I've already eaten my whole dinner for the day, my cabbage soup and my smoothie, I'm eating some green beans. Well, my friend makes spaghetti bolognese, and I get green beans. But I'm really looking forward to them still. Still. I'm back out in the sunshine with my green beans. A bowl of green beans with chilli flakes. And mixed herbs. Yum. And uh, my water with, with a tiny bit of archers in it, but it is water. It's like flavoured water. Peach flavoured water. <laughs> That's a fruit, right? I really can't deal with that other cabbage soup, so I'm going to have to make a fresh batch uh, for the next few days. But I'm going to do it properly this time. So I'm sautéing the onions and garlic and stock, peppers, tomatoes, and I'm going to really just cook it down slowly and let the flavours develop because the other one was just too one-dimensional. I can't tell. Slight problem, just realised I don't actually have any cabbage, but luckily my two frozen bags of pre-cooked cabbage soup have come in handy, but they're going to be in a much better base. I'm literally going to let this cook down for a good couple of hours. Maybe now. This soup is wow, like... Yeah. yeah, she said it. It's worlds yeah. apart. It's so much better. Okay. I'm going to actually enjoy eating this over the next couple of days. This soup, the new soup. Oh, it's just so good. I'm really happy with that. I'm gonna enjoy eating that for the next few days. Depth. That's what I needed is depth, flavour. Good. I am so happy today. Get my banana milkshake. Mmm. Like it is like liquid gold. It's so good. And I got my new cabbage soup today, which is so tasty. I'm actually looking forward to it. Like I'm not dreading today because I've got a nice cabbage soup. I'm just so happy about it. And I get to have banana milkshakes on a hot, sunny day. Wee. Where did it go? Huh? <laughs> I don't really know. Hello. <laughs> We're going for a little stroll. <laughs> going for a little stroll. Hi. With our skinny ourselves. Skinny. Team skinny <laughs> potato. Team, team cabbage. Team potato. 
potato. Team pie. cabbage. Hey, 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 Team hey. cabbage. Team cabbage. <laughs> and then we're gonna go swimming and do a bit of sauna. Yeah, a bit of saunifying ourselves, you know. Fun day, fun day. Fun day with my babes. Woo! So I've had to love Caroline and leave her because I need sustenance, and the choices are cabbage soup or a banana milkshake. It's scorching hot, it's gonna be the banana milkshake, and I really just try to just be so thankful that I get to have a banana milkshake and I'm just trying to like let that resonate with me I'm literally just so happy it's made me really appreciate food and like how how much food that we take for granted and we just eat for the sake of it and it's all just like just nothing and fake Ew. so yeah real food it's been interesting not having meat for a few days I'm gonna try and like have more meat free days as well Thank you, cabbage soup diet. Day four has been great. I uh, just had my cabbage soup for dinner and I'm having my banana shake for lunch. I'm just so happy. Like, I wish I'd had like that really good soup from day one because I think it would have made day one, two and three like a lot easier. But yeah, my soup, man, it's so tasty. And banana milkshake for dessert, like happy days. My banana milkshake, two bananas, ice, and a bit of the skim milk. Put a bit of cinnamon in there, nutmeg, spices, so they don't count. But it's so filling, so that's going to keep me going through the uh, rest of the evening, I think. So it's day five of the cabbage soup diet, and I'm going to a pole class. So I had preheated some cabbage soup and put it in a flask, tried to be all organised, and um, I've left it at home so I'm a bit excited about that but I'm allowed chicken today so I've gone and got some like plain grilled uh, chicken breasts and uh, some salads from the kebab shop but I've made sure it's like got no oil and made sure it's got no marinade and stuff it's like quite plain so yeah that's what I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna eat like a little bit of that before the class just so I've got a bit of energy and then have some of it afterwards I had a bit of cabbage soup for breakfast, but it wasn't enough, like I'm really hungry and I know I'm going to need a bit of energy for this class, so I've had to just make some snap decisions and try and find some clean food while I'm out. Day five has been a really good day. I enjoyed that pole class and I'm so glad that I ended up being able to get something while I was out. I was looking forward to doing chicken this evening, but I used that bit of chicken that I was able to have and spread that across the day. So I had like two cubes and a bit of salad before the class. And then at dinner time, I had another two cubes and a bit more salad with like, it was mainly like cabbage and tomatoes really, because I was allowed up to six tomatoes today. So it was like, might as well get them in, in the salad. Um, but yeah, I'm a bit gutted that I left my cabbage soup considering I was trying to be so good and like really prepare myself for the day. I don't really want that to go to waste, so I'm waiting until I feel a bit peckish and I'm going to try and have some of that. But that's the good batch of soup, man, so I'm just gutted it. I hope it just doesn't, like, go to waste. I've got a little bit left for tomorrow and, like, just going to have to ration it on day seven. But, yeah, good. Happy days. I've been sitting there thinking, why am I aching? Like, all my shoulders, everything just feels... I just want a massage like I'm so looking forward to this spa day this is gonna be amazing I really need a massage and I'm sitting here thinking why why am I aching and obviously it's because I've just been swinging myself around a pole like full force just giving it 110% <laughs> first pole class in like four years since having the kids I don't know what I was thinking but I loved it Definitely going to keep that up. Um, but just can't feel my arms right now. So it's day six. Today I'm allowed one, at least one cabbage soup, as much beef as I'd like, and as many vegetables as I like. So I think on the menu is going to be steak with salad and maybe some asparagus. I'll have that a few times a day. Easily. So I was finally ready to go out after like a slow morning. And uh, just as I'm about to leave, this one spots an ice lolly in the bottom of the freezer. 
So now I've got to wait for them to finish those because I can't take them in my car. So it's going to have to be cabbage soup because I'm so hungry. So I'm going to have to have a cup of soup to keep me going until I get my steak on. It is actually really nice. Look. Oh, this goodness. It is really tasty, but I just was avoiding it because of the smell of the flask dis disaster. <laughs> Chunky. Got my saute veg. And my steak. Nice. Super excited. I feel like a queen right now. Yum. I'm defeated already. Got half a steak left, two asparagus, and I feel so full, which is good because which means my stomach is like shrinking. So Shayla's finishing off my asparagus. Is she about it? So it's the last day of the diet. I'm eating my final bit of cabbage soup in the car park of Champneys because I need to eat something before we go in, and I'm starving. So final bit of cabbage soup. Bon appetit. Mm. Caroline, you was on the um, potato. Yeah, I was on the diet. potato diet. Woo! How does my cabbage compare? Oh my god, I just tasted that cabbage soup. <laughs> <laughs> potato diet and return to sender. Okay, <laughs> even though it done it done me a good, but oh my god, that cabbage soup is amazing. So you need to whip me up some, okay? You need to tell me the secret. <laughs> Teach me the secret. Teach me the secret, girl. Yes. Cabbage soup. Cabbage yeah. soup secrets. So it's day seven of the cabbage soup diet, and it's time to go and weigh in and see how much we've lost. I wish us luck. I'm so hungry. I can't wait to eat something off the menu. Not off the cabbage soup menu, off like a real menu. Still gonna make good choices, but I'm gonna have something that'll be really good today. Here she comes. Oh, no, that's not her. Is this her? No, she's not here yet. Hey. Hi. Are you nervous for the weigh in? A little bit, I'm a bit nervous, but hopefully we're gonna pull through though. I'm really nervous. Me too. I hope I lost weight. I bet you've lost loads and I've lost nothing. Oh, perhaps. Is that bit? I blame England. <laughs> England. I blame England winning <laughs> yes, whatever yeah. finals mm. that they were in. Mm. Not that I care or anything. But I hope I have lost weight. No, but this is the best I've felt in years anyway, mm. so. That's true. Winning either winning. way. We, we, we're happy anyways. So both ways, we are happy with it. <laughs> Look at this, what we're in. Oh, this wow. does not seem secure. This is so cute. Oh! This is super cute. Ooh. Hi. I feel good in EA. I feel good regardless. Scales mean nothing, darling. It's all about how your clothes fit. Oh so the results are in. Yes, oh my god. You must feel so good. 12 Look. pounds. Literally lost 12 pounds off the potato diet. That's incredible. I'm speechless. I'm sorry. I'm just like, what? I had four pounds off the cabbage soup diet. So I weighed 12, four before. Now I weigh 11, six. And I weigh 11, five now. So you're only a pound off me from a girl. But I was uh, 11, nine. So four pounds is still good for one it's week. It's good, babe. Seriously, for one week. And you can move around a lot, can you? Yeah, it's fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just like tearing right now. <laughs> Pure emotional. Winning. Winning. <laughs> it's really funny. You got your healthy smoothie. I can finally have something rather than potatoes. <laughs> and it's still healthy though. You still it went for a good healthy, smoothie. Yeah. Nice little detox smoothie. Yeah, zing. Get the zing in this place. is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Look at this. Oh. I'm loving life right now. Loving <laughs> life, living the dream. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, we'll take our massages on the veranda. 